the end of 2019. Now, as you guys know, there is loads and loads of videos tonight of people going to be posting their end of the year video. However, I have to say and admit that um, to end this great, wonderful year, I wanted to, to um, play an iconic game that has really changed a lot of people in the gaming community. Now, this is Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, this is my first crack at this game. I'm barely at the point of choosing my character. Um, and I'm kind of playing with the, these customizations. Again, I've never played this game. I've not really watched any gameplay on it. I don't really know what this is about, if I'm being completely honest. But, um... Definitely going to um, make my character look pretty stank and dope. And um, I'm going to try and stay as much as me as possible. But I actually love blue eyes and I think they're super adorbs. So. Okay, there's 70, 7, and how many is there? Uh, my eyebrows are pretty natural. I think I have a pretty natural uh, one myself. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with uh, a natural because it's really close to a th uh, a thin, and I believe that's kind of what I got going on here. I got pretty thin lips myself, but. Okay, 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 hold on. Ha <laughs> ha We're gonna start all over again. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and do this. Here we're going to can we just no we can't. Damn, never mind. <clears throat> At least we can. I do have pretty I think that's about I guess how thick they are I think I think, I think that's good. <clears throat> I think 
for for lips, like I'm gonna stick with these thin ones because I think that's what I got going on as well. Narrow. And again, I think for me, I kind of have a. Um, um I honestly don't see the difference, but... Oh, okay. I think, like, this is pretty good. My ear! First of all, I can't even see it because this hair is in the way. So I won't do that just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for hair. Perfect. I always like this kind of style because I always be wearing it like this. But oh, let me see. Go back. Looks like she might have. Looks like she might have a... Thing. I definitely think maybe this one. That's definitely more like me. What? I don't know what any of this is. I want to be able to see her her skin. Ugh. How do I just make it normal? Oh, Scar, yo. We would give my character like a nice little sha. Nah, these are too crucial. I think I'm gonna 
gonna stick with nine because well Oh no 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 Maybe now we can see what this is all about. want it to be like my character young look almost <coughs> oh mom's calling but no oh shit boss where did this but I've looked in my semana Okay. Bye. Okay. So I like my character personally. Nothing on it. Like nothing. Ooh, she kind of looking. Oh, okay. Actually, we might have to do. Might have to do none, but no blush. Fuck blush. I kind of wanted to go with the um, eyeliner. Just the uh, kind of dark vibe, kind of going. We'll give us some lipstick, give our character some... We'll do... Oh. Don't want too, too much of a vivid color. Just a little bit. Just, I might actually change the color. Oh, whatever. I think that's pretty good. I mean, for someone who, like me, who doesn't. I mean, I don't really know about none of this. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with no highlight. Definitely no blush, cause girl looking somber, and we don't want that for our girl. Maybe a little. Give her like some color going on, not too pale. So we kind of got our character going. I like it. I'm just going to give another go at this. Oh no. back and we're gonna write what was this what's this I'm 
Look at that one. I wanted to be clear. I think that's pretty good. Is that one? Neither? Huh? Neither? I don't know, it's trunk, I don't know. I honestly don't know what this is for, but I'm assuming dead eye means for good shooting abilities. I, I honestly don't know, but I think I think our character is looking pretty saucy. And if I ever need to make any changes, if I ever need to make some changes, I think I could just get back on this and make a change, just like GTA. <clears throat> now, that took a lot of concentration. This is me, the wise. Coming at you, and I believe I started my own civil. I don't know what it's called, but I start when I first started. It asked me if I wanted to be the the like I don't know what I was talking about, but a few months later, ah, ah. Okay, so this is kind of giving me like a first colony vibe. Officer Jackson, move those prisoners. That's Officer what they couldn't. Kitchen's a staff. Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves. What are you standing there for? Get moving. What are you looking at? Go on, get moving. Right off the bat, very nice. You, you, you with the hammer, and you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out near Tumbleweed. Come on. Hey, this is my character. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. Hey, I got some teammates on board. What are we gonna do? Like, a runaway? Yeah. Is my character bleeding from her hands? Cause if it is, I would have to bust someone's house. Cause that's unacceptable. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched. Oh, I like this. This is really nice graphics. Not gonna lie. Not stay calm in there. You weren't saying nothing. We well, are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Goddamn Personally, right. I'm against education. What? Women, I mean. And men, I guess. Punch you in the face, sir. Doesn't add much to Very the necessary. World. Punch you in the face. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, mm -hmm. throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. 
boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. That's right. You all run away. Me. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Wendt, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was? There's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, ma'am, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. All right. Follow the stranger. It's been a while since you rode a horse. No shame in that. But please. It's not much of an animal, but we haven't got far to ride. Just get on the horse when you're good and ready, <laughs> okay? Hey! Back here, please. Ready? Wonderful. All right, how do I make a run? Forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six oh, months hell yeah. in Jessica Penitentiary. Awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. You must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, it doesn't look like breaking all those all bars right. left you entirely broken, in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up in those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you, forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. But you will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience, at least. She's just up here. There's the camp. Get your horse. Been a while since you saw a hitching post, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. This way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Oh, what up, dog? Just for the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Horley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than taxis, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman Possibly by all of them. I can't be sure. But that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my... But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it. Or caused it unwillingly. Anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Oh, where my manners... Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there. Alongside a few other items you might need. A lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. That's right, sir. Hell yeah. I think I'm gonna stick with the uh this this Ah oh, look at that 
You see my mouth moving when I'm talking? I obviously don't have any anything. No, I don't want to finalize. What is it? What? Um, let's go with these. Actually, no gloves, just cause. so raggedy with the vest. I actually don't want a vest. I think it was good. Alright. So we can go hit back button and That looks more comfortable. Holly? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Mm. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out. And kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. See... You walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts. Crook, my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. 
My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed, and there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then Holly, go introduce her to Mass Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone I like this game crazy, so far. It gives me Western vibes. I kind of like it, but I'm very, um... Crips. Focused on it. Get up. Oh, hello, partner. Harley. <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And uh, where are we headed? Crips is establishing your camp. Perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk. Then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Crips back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. Farewell, sir. I'm sure you're tired. Get this done and you can rest. Yeah, poor thing. Oh shit. My bad. Haha. Get up, poor thing. Get up. Get up. Get up. Lower left corner. Oh. I went off track a lot, didn't I? Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. Just kinda. How do I know? We ought to find some water, this kid. How do I whistle again?
Yeah, bud. How do I give him an apple? I see the map on here. <clears throat> My lord, that's really far. Come on, Mr. Horse, gotta go. Try and get through this, Mr. Horse. I know, buddy. I'm a oh, fall back there really messed him up. I need to figure out best way <laughs> is just to get him around straight here. Hi there. You it. You must be a Horley's friend. He's Ashley. one of us. That's right. He said you are also a discouraged creature. How dare he? Now I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. But you I, still do. Well, let's Should leave that. Up. All that. That's me. But Horley <laughs> insisted you. Was so far, okay. guys, this is not I'm too shabby of a guy. You see, Anyway, it's a but, pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, of a game. Sort of. Well, I want to dip. This is actually not real. very exciting Charming. to end the year with. I heard you not justify my ears, so. Some you. Out of here!